Hello, I'm Pastor Dave, and these are our devotions for December 17th, 2021. Christmas Eve is one week away. Now to the Lord sing praises, all you within this place. And with true love and brotherhood, each other now embrace. This holy tide of Christmas, all other doth deface. There's always a question out there in our faith of how do we respond to Christ in our life. It's because we know that we are saved by our faith in Jesus Christ and our actions themselves can't save us. But instead it's a question of how do we faithfully live in this world? How do we live out our faith in Jesus Christ in our day-to-day -day lives? How do we respond to Christ's goodness in our life? This is something that is important. It's important that we do something in response to Christ. That there's some sign of new birth. That we are born again in faith. Some way that Christ changes our life. I know for some, this can actually be a great change. For those who were complete hell raisers before becoming to disciples... There's a mark of great change in their life. If you want a biblical account, think of the Apostle Paul, who, as Saul was a Pharisee of Pharisees, persecuted the church, held the coats of the men who stoned Stephen, only to meet the resurrected Lord on the road to Damascus and completely changing to serve Christ as the apostle to the Gentiles and even changing his name. For others, it is a less dramatic change. They lived a good life before coming to Christ. And there isn't much room to improve. But regardless of where we were before we came to Christ, we should change because of our faith. These types of changes are the fruit of our faith. They're the proof of our faith is another way we could say it. Because, you know, it's important because sometimes talk is cheap. That people can say the right things but don't always do the right thing. In many ways, it's living the life as God intends us to live it. Not just in prayer and good deeds, but even a change in outlook and priorities. When we look at this old carol, we get a glimpse of that. We get a glimpse of how the faithful should live in Christ. And with true love and brotherhood, each other now embrace. We can see these in action, but it's also a change in outlook and attitude. The outlook of seeing one to whom you're not related as a brother in Christ. As part of God's holy family of which you are a part of. And offering the love of God to one another. To see each other as brothers and sisters. This pales in comparison to often how the world is. Where there's more hatred and enmity between others. Where we become so focused on ourselves, our immediate family, or ethnic or linguistic group, or some other earthly division. That we lose sight of what's more important. Especially in our faith, how Christ in our life is more important than anything else. And this age of division and partisanship where we find any excuse possible to divide ourselves Christ calls upon us to embrace one another in love and in brotherhood live out being the family of Christ these are our devotions for today I hope to see you tomorrow